consider what you already know about search, paid search, and its ability to target is very, very much the same to the way you can target and display it. So just because you're showing up on ESPN.com doesn't mean you're showing it to somebody 3,000 miles away. You're still showing it to potentially your customer. Or even, as Christine was saying, somebody that's actually been to your website. So it seems kind of funky, but it makes a lot of sense. Okay. And we hit on, briefly, this indictment, the idea of remarketing and retargeting. This is that freebie piece, right? So somebody visits your website, and then we can catch up with them later. That's the whole idea. And there's some really cool, so when I think ahead and, and, and abilities here, things like sequential messaging. So somebody comes to your website, looks at a specific vehicle, and then you show them an ad for $500 off. 30 days later, you show them an ad for $1,000 off, so on and so forth. That stuff's really cool. That's something that's driven towards providing you with higher levels of conversion and capturing potentially lost business. I like all of those things. I like the idea of getting more money, really. And that's what our advertising net is doing, right? It's making sure we're getting the attention we deserve. So what I would suggest to you, quite simply, is that display advertising is probably a good next step for folks who've been running search for a while and are looking for that, that next lift. <coughs> now, if you're using a search provider, I don't care who it is for paid search, or that search provider is, make sure you've maxed your paid search budget first. It's still the most effective